Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Yes, I've changed my hair again. Believe me, you won't even be able to keep up with me because I can't keep up with myself. Today's video, I'm going to be using my sister Brittany as my model and we're going to be doing a colourful carnival kind of vibe eye. Let's start. As you know, I like to start with brows. I'm just going to pick up my spoolie. This is on um, a natural peaches and cream brush, but you can pick these up. And I'm just going to brush Brittany's brows. Then you don't have to, but I just like to lift the brows, giving it a nice arch, like so. Now I'm using one of my favourites, the Collection 2000 pencil. I'm going to be just filling in Brittany's brows, starting um, from the middle. I like to lift up the brow, create that arch, and then just follow it down, just like so. And then I like to start again on the top, but halfway, and just creating that. And then what I like to do is fill it in. Some people use, um, you can use powders, you can use um, what I like to use, the Benefit of Pinny Brow, that's a really nice one. And then I don't come too far in the front because I like to keep that more natural looking. So with that, like that, I'm going to get my spoolie and then I'm just going to brush that through. I find that this creates a nice blend in the eye and it doesn't look patchy. Like so, and then now I've gone underneath. I'm just going to do brush strokes up because I don't want it to be a block effect. Just brush strokes up, I might just join it a bit there, and then just keep brushing it through. I find if you do make a mistake, it's fine because once you brush it through with the spoolie, it blends in and the mistakes go. So I'm just going to make that a bit more of a flick on the end like so, and then we're just going to repeat that on the other eye. Now we have finished the brows, we're going to carve it out with a bit of concealer. You don't have to use a, spe a specific concealer, I just like to use a Maybelline Fit Me, just I really like it, and the normal shade 20, close your eyes for me. You just like to place this on your lids, doesn't have to be anything neat. Pop it on, and then I'm going to carve out the brow. So again, just using a flat brush, it can be any flat brush. And then we're going to start with this one. So again, I like to arch up, pick up some product, and place this, just pick up, and place it under where you filled it in. And I find that this gives it a really, really slick look. This is going to be a very glam, quite heavy look. So. It doesn't matter if you do use a bit more product because you'll just blend that in. So, we are going to be using false eyelashes as well for this one. Which I love. Right, so once you have placed that, then I just like to get the brush and I like to tap away and tap it in. I find this makes it set more in the skin rather than if you just keep doing swipe motions. And I find it creases less when you do it, this technique. So again, set that set and that blending lovely. So while that's setting in, I'm gonna get another fluffy brush and I'm just gonna go around the edges and blend that into Brittany's skin. Again, foundation will be going on top. Like so, and repeat on the other side. Now we have done the prepping of the eyes, we are going to go straight in using the Stacey Marie Be Perfect Cosmetics Palette. These have got gorgeous, gorgeous colours. We are going to be doing a bit of a carnival vibe, so I'm going to be using Keen, Mint, Sky, maybe a bit of Recharge, so the greens, the yellows, the blues. So we're going to start off by using this nice bright yellow shade called Keen. So pick that up on a fluffy brush. And again, lift up the arch of the brow. And then I'm just gonna circular motions across the eye. I'm gonna start quite high because I want this to be the colour that it all blends with. Or into, should I say. So we are gonna really build this up. So a nice vibrant, as I say, it's like a carnival eye. So. 
Then keep doing circular motions. We are gonna be blending that in with a lovely minty green open for me. Just gonna bring that a tiny bit higher. Just a little bit. I don't wanna go too far near the brow because I wanna add some highlight after. And that's where I like to put it, just on that bone up there. And open. Perfect. So again, repeat that section on the other eye. Now we've finished the yellow shade, I'm gonna go in, as I said, with a minty kind of color. I'll show you, again, from the same palette, and it is called Mint. So again, using the nice fluffy brush, lifting up that arch, and then I'm just gonna be placing that under the eye. Again, circular motions. You might be thinking this is gonna look crazy, which probably most likely will, but it's a nice bit of color. You never know when you'll be needing a nice, bright, colourful eye. As you can see, there's quite a harsh line, but we will be going back in with that yellow and blending that out really nicely. Open for me. Cool, close for me. So again, using um, the first brush, the yellow, going to go over and blend that in. You want it a really nice ombre kind of look. You don't want it no harsh lines, no craziness. Okay. And then with that done, we're going to repeat the same thing on the other eye. Right, so the next colour we're going to be using is a nice bright blue. I'm going to be using a nice fluffy brush again, and it's just going to be the one called Sky. So again, I'm just going to be using that underneath the mint colour, and then Again, to blend, I'll just go back and forth from those two colours. I'm actually going to go in with a smaller brush because that isn't working for me. Let's try this. Let's get that. So again, you can see already the colours will go lovely together once you give it that blend. And we will be adding, of course, some glitter. We've got a lot of glitter. Open for me. And then go back and forth with that mint colour. Because you still want to see every layer that you've done. And you still want to be, it to be noticeable. Perfect. So that blends in really nice. And as I said again, pick up your pigment. These are very pigmented, I don't know if you can tell, but they are very, very, and I've only picked up a tiny bit. It might not seem as vibrant as it is on the brush, but that's because it is going on top of green. Can you head for me slightly? And again, circular motions all the way around. And the blue actually blends in really, really nice with the green. But obviously, you need to blend it a tiny bit, but not as much as the yellow because that's more of a prominent colour. And then lifting up the arch of the brow. Go in like so. Open for me. I think I'm actually going to go in a little bit deeper. And I'm going to be adding... I'm debating whether to a bit of recharge or a bit of mood. I think I'm going to go in with a bit of recharge. got a tiny bit of glitter in it. And I'm just going to place this on the outer corner, so close. Just give it a little bit of depth. Just give it a nice effect. Open for me. And again, do the same on the other eye. I will clean up on any fallout as well. I'm not just going to leave it on Brittany's skin. And now Brittany's eyes are covered. I'm going to quickly wipe away using some Johnson's Be Gone Makeup Be Gone Cleansing Wipes. The cup for me. Gonna be, these are really, really nice on the skin. It smells quite nice actually, isn't it? Yeah. Right, so now that is done, we are going to go on by using some glitter. Now I've got three different shades which I'm tossing between. I think I'm just going to go for the. I'll show you anyway. So you've got Rattlesnake. These are all pigments by Peaches and Cream. So you've got Rattlesnake, 
I've got a bit of angel wings, which is just a nice glittery effect. And then I've got a like iridescent pearl one, but I think I'm definitely gonna go for, hmm, I might actually go for rattlesnake, just because it has got that hint of green in it. And I think it'll go quite nice with the eyes. But before I go in with that, I'm gonna get a carving brush. So I'm just gonna be using the same brush that I carved out the eyebrows with, and I'm gonna just be creating a cut crease. Just starting at the inner corner, and basically you wanna draw a half moon. So, I'm just going to be going like so. Don't worry if it's a bit messy at this point. That's okay. I'm not going to be going the whole way out. I'm just going to be just doing, just literally halfway. And I'm going to be blending that in. And then when I put my glitter pigment on, it will look really, really sparkly. You can put it straight on top of the colour if that's what you want, if that's what you're happy with. But what I like to do is I'll get my client to look up for me. Then just your eyes, <laughs> and then look back down, and close them, and then close them, and then you can just see where the actual natural crease cut is. So again, just follow that round, and that means when you put the glitter there, it won't go onto any other part of the eye. And don't worry about the um, messiness of that because we will be going back in with the colour to blend it in. So again, doing the same motions on the other eye. Right, now that we have um, carved out the brow, uh, carved out the eyes, sorry, keep your eyes closed, we're going to let that dry for a minute. I just like to fan it. So I'm going to pick up that rattlesnake pigment. Let's see how we get on. Don't worry again about any fallout because we will be removing that after. I'm going to bring that all the way to where you put the concealer or your primer. Keeping them eyes closed, we're going to be doing the same steps in the other eye. And I just like to pat on. Find if you swipe too much, then it'll remove the product. But this is definitely party vibes, fancy dress vibes. If you like this wearing this every day, then go for it vibes. I like to put a lot on. Perfect. Keep your eyes closed for me. Right, so as you can see, they're looking very nice, very sparkly, but they are looking a bit blocky. So what we're going to be doing is going back in with that smaller brush. Um, and we're just going to be going back in with those two colours, which is Sky and Blue Charge. So again, just using a bit of Sky. Diagonal motion. because we really want that blue to be picked up. Look at me. And again, starting from the corner, I'd just like to bring that down. Brittany, your eyelashes have gone blue. But again, that's fine. Brilliant. So what I'm gonna be doing now is, as you can see, they are very glittery. Close your eyes for me. Very glittery, very sparkly. I'm just gonna go in again, tiny bit with their outside. I'm not gonna pick up any more pigment. I'm just going to blend that in because that was a bit of a harsh line there. So just blend it in. You can do a bit of swiping on this bit just to blend. That'll be fine. So again, going back in with the wipe um, that I used before just for the fallout. I'll get ready to look up again for me. There wasn't that much fallout under this one. Like so. And while they're setting, we'll be doing the under eye section. So I'm going to go back in with a fluffy brush and I'll place some concealer under the eye. You can do it either way. Um, I normally put concealer on top, but this is just to really bring out those colours. So I'm going to be blending that in. There's no specific way I would say to put this bit on, just as long as it's blended. That's why I like to get a nice big fluffy brush. Once you've done that, I'm going to be going back in with that original brush for that yellow shade called Keen. But for a minute, I'm just going to be brushing that underneath. Put this on. Like so. Now that's when I'm going to be going back in with that mint colour. And basically, we're going to just be recreating a tiny section of what's on the top underneath. Then 
but you want to make sure you can see all the colours still in the corner. Like so. And then I'm just going to go back in with a smaller brush, but again using the sky. But you can go crazy with colours, you can add more colours if you if you like need to be. But I'm just going to be keeping it, I wouldn't say quite simple because it's not very simple colours. But I'm going to be doing that and I have got a tiny bit more of fallout. Just wipe that underneath, like so. Once you've applied that, we're going to be using the Morphe Jacqueline Hill JH07 with some um, Studio Fix Foundation by MAC. So, on this side of this, so just pop that behind the ear. I'm just going to be blending that colour in. As I say, it's going to be a heavy look, so I will be putting more foundation on than you would on a daily basis use. But we're going to go for that really flawless looking skin. When you come up to the top of the hairline, I just like to tap it in. Be careful if you have got blonde hair because using foundations, they are they tend to be a lot more orange in your skin tone so you don't want to have like a big orange streak of hair which I have seen before and it's not a very good look. I'm just blend this in. Always make sure you blend in the neck. Like Brittany normally fake tan so that's why we have gone for more of a darker shade. I'm just gonna turn your chair so it blends in with the rest of her body when she is tanned. But for this purpose of this video we are just gonna blend that all the way into the t-shirt line and once we have done that i'm just going to go ahead and tap that product in We're using the same brush i find that this gives it the matte look and i love the matte look so we're not going for a dewy look or dewy is it dewy or dewy i would say dewy dewy i think dewy is american isn't it we'll just tap that in and we will be setting it with a matte powder as well so once that is all done i'm going to go in with the matte medium golden mineralized skin finish so i'm just going to get a massive fluffy brush just to set all that in so really set that in so as you can tell this is what we're looking at so it is very flawless very colorful there is a tiny bit that i'm just going to go back in with that blue just as i can see it i'm more on the side okay. A little bit more there. But as I did Brittany's um, concealer before, I'm just going to go in with a matte concealer. Sorry, I don't know the shade of it. I'm going to go in with that nice fluffy brush just to brighten up a little bit under the under eye. Like so. And again, we're going to layer that on. And just brush it on using my fluffy brush. You can use any brush for these girls or boys, but I just like to stick to what I know. So this is a real techniques one. So just like to brighten under that. And with the other brush that we use for the foundation, we're just going to blend that in. Blend it all nicely. And then again, time for me. And then we will set this as well. I just find it goes on nicer on a setted base first. And then tap that in, blend that in. So again, using that big fluffy brush, I'm just gonna go in the top corner and just pat that in to make that matte look. Perfect. Now for my favorite, which is the contour. I'm gonna be using, as usual, my Dark Turn Mineralized Finish by MAC. And if you've seen my other videos, you know I just like to pop it just above the cheekbone or below the cheekbone, so you're going to put some highlighter on there. And this is buildable, so it can go in as much as you like. I don't really plan this any specific way, I like to just change it up. Normally I just do swipe motions, but I do like to follow the three shapes. So from the forehead, brown to the side, and then underneath the chin and the jaw just to give that really contoured look. And again, 10 for me, do that on the other side. 
So now we have done the contour, I'm going to go in with a nice blusher. I'm going to go in with a MAC blusher. Just a nice soft pink because I don't want to go too heavy as I don't want to distract from the eyes. Nice, nice rosy cheeks kind of thing I just like to put it on the apples of the cheek, blend that in with the bronzer. And I don't know if I told you my little tip, but if you ever get like little hairs in your face, just pick up your spoolie and just run that over, as I find that picks up without damaging any of the product that you've already applied. So now we've done that, I'm going to apply some highlighter. Again, using MAC, I'm going to be using the, I don't know if it was a, oh no, it wasn't a Christmas edition, this is just a regular soft and gentle highlighter. And close that, just above the contour. Okay. the nose, down the bridge of the nose, the chin, and right across there. Perfect. And if you remember from when I said before, I like to pop a tiny bit under the uh, above the brow bone. So I'm just going to bring it up and I start to put a tiny bit there. And the other eye. And I'm just using a tiny, tiny brush for this. So now we've got that, I'm going to go on to the lips. Again, I'm just going to be using a nude colour because I don't want to distract from the eyes. So I'm just going to go in with a Maybelline lip liner. This is just like a nice pinky nude colour. If you want to know any of the uh, products that I'm using, just give me a comment in the section below and I will reply to any of your questions or queries. I'm going to fill that in. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, feel free as I say to answer me, ask me any questions, I'll be happy to reply. If you want to, you can follow my beauty account on Instagram, it is Olivia's Beauty underscore X. And then you can see all my work that I do. I don't just do makeup, I do eyelashes, nails. I can do spray tans and facials. I am a level three qualified beautician and that's my everyday job. So let's do that for me. Perfect. So I'm just gonna go back in with just a soft brush just to crease out any harsh lines. So now we've done that. Um, my client, well my client, my sister doesn't want to use eyeliner. She's not a massive fan. So we're just gonna stick on some eyelashes. The ones that I'm going to apply, be applying are actually Primark, so I've never used these ones. So I'm hoping that they're going to be good. It does come with a glue, but I'm going to be using my own glue that I love, which is the Isle of London Lash Fix. So close your eyes for me. So I already have um, cut these lashes to Britney's eyes, as sometimes, as well, as you know, they do come up very, very long. I have, I am applying the glue right now. I'm just gonna apply this. Some people don't really struggle with this, but I find it easier when you're doing it on other people compared to myself. So just keep your eye closed for me. And I just like to fan that down. So while that's drying and setting in, I will do the same with the other eyelash. And they've set quite really nice, like quite quickly. So again, I say so and then they come apart. Just like so, open, and that's what it looks like so far. So I'm going to be just applying some bottom mascara. Put your head down a tiny bit. Okay, like there. Okay. And this just sets pretty natural lashes with the relash. Okay. So as you can see, that is the finished look. Just turn to the side out of the way for me. That highlighter is popping. And then the other side, and then look straight. And that is a finished look. As I say, if you've got any queries, if you wanna know how any more tips or how I like to use my um, makeup, then just give us a message. Um, remember to subscribe, like, comment, tell your friends, share it. I am new to YouTube, so I am trying to build everything up. But yeah, thank you for watching.